Peter Robards, uh, the man in black going through a suitcase full of felt, is my friend Sam Mock. Uh, in a few moments, you're going to meet a few other of our friends. Uh, what you're about to see is something a little bit different from the first show. Uh, we are the perfect fusion of puppetry and improvisation called underhanded improv. So everything we're about to do, we're going to make up completely <coughs> on the spot. Uh, to give us a hand with that, if someone could please shout out a piece of advice that someone once gave you. Don't eat yellow snow. Don't eat yellow snow. Thank you very much. This is underhanded improv. I can't believe you did that. Hey, a dare's a dare, okay, Terry? You dare me to do something, I'm 100% going to do it. All right, all right, I owe you $20. Damn okay. right you do, and you respect. Or, mm. or, or, we can keep this dare going. How so? I'm going to double okay. dare. Terry, Terry, are you asking me to do a double dare? I'm daring you to do a ah. dare. <laughs> said the words. That's right. my task. I shall complete it perfectly. I dare you to dare me to do something more daring than I dare you. <laughs> oh, Terry. We've gone down a recursive loop here that we might never recover from. Oh, yes. You know what happens when there's a dare inside a dare? We have dared inside a dare inside a dare. Terry, we're not going to know what's real anymore. <laughs> How are we going to know if we choose to do something or if we've just been dared at some point by someone else? <laughs> we won't! <laughs> <laughs> I'll go down this rabbit hole with you. I dare you, Terry. I double dare you to go ahead and find a color of snow that neither of, neither of us have ever seen before and to make that into a four-course meal for your family. <laughs> you have until Saturday at 2 p.m. <laughs> Dad, I don't want to have this talk right now, okay? <laughs> Just let me go to my room and play Xbox. Oh, you can go to your room and play Maybe. Xbox. Oh, After we have this talk, you sit your butt down. <laughs> you sit it down in that chair. Well, I'm being bullied. It happens, Dad. It's not a big deal. Oh, you're being bullied. It happens. Not a big deal. It does not happen to Hendersons. <laughs> Dad, your mustache is so tickly in my head. <laughs> Dad, it feels a little voice. <laughs> yeah, it's going to stay that way. So now listen up. Stop. <laughs> no, some of mine gets bullied. I didn't have a choice. It's not like I went in. Oh, the... you didn't have a choice. Where did you go? I went into the cafeteria. The cafeteria. <laughs> Do we not pack you a lunch? Yeah, I have to eat it in the cafeteria, Dad. No, no, we pack you a lunch because you've got asthma and you're kind of a small kid. <laughs> Dad, you don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Neither of those facts have any bearing on where I have to eat. Oh, oh really? <laughs> Were all the stalls in the bathroom taken? <laughs> Well, maybe you should have thought about that before you got asked. <laughs> maybe you should have thought about that before you impregnated my mom. <laughs> How dare you? It's true. It's her genetic side that made me this way. I'm inferior because she's from Wisconsin. <laughs> it's true. But you don't choose who you fall in love with, okay? I don't choose. I was on a business trip from Columbus. Okay. <laughs> and next thing I know, there she was, eating cheese at a restaurant. <laughs> As for my kind, she said cheddar, it's the only kind they have there. <laughs> I was intrigued. <laughs> That's kind of similar to what happened to me today. 
except I don't think it was cheese they made me eat. Uh, Didn't taste like any cheese I've ever had. Let me tell you what you're going to do from now on. We're going to make your liquid lunch, all right? No, Dad, not like Everything Grandpa. In blender. <laughs> Everything in Blender, just like Grandpa. It tastes like powder, <laughs> and it's still like liquid. It's mm -hmm. like powdered mm -hmm. water. And until you stop getting bullied, until you figure out how to stop that from happening, and it might be you have to smell a little butt, well then you are going to get a liquid lunch. My gym teacher told me I should stand up for myself. If somebody gets into my personal space, I should get in their personal space, huh? I should get right up on them and talk to them. <laughs> Okay. 
Besides, I would just kiss you and then go throw up in the bathroom. Yeah. That's how bulimia works. <laughs>
It's my mom's. <laughs> oh, well, we do have a bottomless basket. We could start with that and just order some water. <laughs> oh, hot button! <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it went. That really wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> My guess, maybe three. Two. Two. Uh, well, two and a half if you count that last guy. Uh, that is more information than I wanted to know. Hey, you don't have to keep doing this, you know. <laughs> Alright, you don't have to be sarcastic. No, I wasn't being sarcastic. Or you just gave me that, you know, gave me that Elizabeth Berkeley and showgirl. It's kind of, oh, no shit. <laughs> It's because I don't have eyes, isn't it? <laughs> uh, uh, your face is the most expressive I've ever seen. <laughs> now you seem scared. <laughs> no, no, it was the same sincere no shit. It's very, it's very expressive, but no sometimes shit. it's wrong. No shit. Hey, no shit. <laughs> You know, there's no GPS on this thing. I can take it anyway. There's no way. To oh my God! Are you kidnapping me? Please! No! 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. percentage is that giving me? For a turtle, a uh, hundred percent. <laughs> Not for a turtle. <laughs> Not for a turtle. And for a member of my gym class. Oh, for a member of your gym class, uh, on the turtles, probably fifty percent. Fifty percent? Yeah, fifty percent. What does Coach Roach ask for in every class? Uh, hundred and ten percent. That's right. How much percent do you owe Coach Roach? Uh, I owe... Sixty percent. <laughs> I'm better at that than I am running. Well, guess <laughs> what, Terry? I got you after school today from three to five thirty. I'm gonna milk oh, that sixty percent out of your bones. Oh God! Some way, somehow. Oh man, my shell's even bones. Oh. <laughs> oh. Get ready to sweat, oh, Terry. Geez. I can't sweat. I am a reptile. I will find a way. <laughs> I will find a way. I am cold blooded. My body. Uh, I can't believe he yeah. found a way. He found a way to make me sweat. Harry, Principal Morris, he found a way to make me sweat. It's a good science in nature. <laughs> exactly what Coach said to you. Terry. He said, "I will keep you after and make you sweat. I will find a way," and he did. He sprayed me with water, and it was just like I had sweated. <laughs> he made me run. I cannot run because of my stubby legs and my heavy shell. Terry, oh, jeez. Just, just yes or no. So you stayed after with the coach, and yeah. he made you sweat. Uh, yeah. And <laughs> uh, according to that statement, wet. He made you wet. Uh, yes, very. And earlier you mentioned something that he said he was going to milk your bone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it had to do with calcium. I, I have a very low calcium intake, mostly because I only eat vegetables right. and insects. All right, Jim, <laughs> uh, for the rest of the semester. Okay, I'm going to be going to therapy with Mr. Watts. Oh, I don't want to go to therapy. I already have to eat lunch in the bathroom with that weird asthmatic kid. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I don't 
want to have to fire a man who's worked here for 30 years. Oh, you're not going to fire him. He is a scientific genius. <laughs> he found the way to make me sweat. Yeah, you've been yelling down the halls that he milked your bones and guns. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> You know I am better at science and math than I am at gym, but he found a way to make me sweat. Harry, are you okay? Uh, yeah, they are both at home inside their shells. <laughs> uh, damn, that means a house call. Oh, don't make a house call. They are snapping turtles. They don't like when people come in their shells. <laughs> they can barely fit themselves. <laughs> they can barely fit. Carry the person in space. Sorry. That's uh, okay. You've been traumatized. I mean, not that bad. Sure, I got a little wet. Oh, God, he doesn't even realize. <laughs> Chartreuse! Is it found? Chartreuse? Is, is someone oh. out there? Yeah, is someone me. out there? I completed the dam! Oh, God, how did you get under the stall? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, I thought you were my friend. Oh. Look, what are you? I found chartreuse snow. <laughs> I've been looking for my friend for three days. Uh, I never thought I would find it. You've been looking for your friend in a middle school bathroom for three days? It was the last place I hadn't looked. <laughs> but, although I guess technically not the last place I haven't looked then. I don't have any friends. Maybe I, I could be your friend? Then do you take a lot of bears? <laughs> I guess you could call it that. I mean, people say for me to do stuff, and then I do it, but they knock my head in the toilet uh, until I do it. That's a great dare. <laughs> <laughs> now I dare you to dunk no. your head in the toilet. <laughs> my dad's just going to be mad at me for getting my hair wet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 